I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right-o, right. Awesome. I kinda liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own Founding Day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some Redstone assignments. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, so freaking cute! So, the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly tea and tea and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town.
Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, I just wish I could have hung out with my friends more. We're all so busy now. That is hard. But at least they come back to visit a bunch? That's pretty awesome. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Those would look awesome on the order hall's front lawn. Hmm. Huh. Jesse, dude! Now, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? I can't believe you settled down. I thought you were all about the wandering, the adventure. Look, <laughs> you make it all sound really good again when you put it like that. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas.
That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh, Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah, he was my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. I'm a smushy cute cheeks fan. He's just got that vibe. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! Sugar, nice! Jesse, I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys. Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Why don't we have both? Oh, well, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that.
order up, got one delicious cake. Ooh, it looks lovely. Yeah, if you're into something that sweet. Sorry, Stacy, I had to make a call. Yeah, I guess. Well, thank you for the help, Jesse. Yes, thank you. Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Lovely garden. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh, no. Thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people, helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? No! Oh, stupid zombie! Oh, I miss this. <laughs> oh, smell not so much. Look at that. Punctual and kicking butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. I really do miss this. You know, us adventuring together, facing the unknown. Wish we could do this more often. Except I'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor. What is that? Iron? I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. My step, yes. Well, you sure showed me. I gotta say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh,. Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three... Axel has boomtown duties, Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... Is writing, I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now... Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. 
What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! Hey, it's Jesse! What's up? Good to see ya. <laughs> oh, perfect. I'm starving. Hey, I was gonna eat that! Obviously. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Alright, where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. somehow? Like, maybe a little lava. Ah! Whew, that totally did the trick. Ah, see ya. Hey, no fair. Cheater, much? I totally saved you back there. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. So happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <laughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, 
It's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Come here, llama. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... <laughs> armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel. Am I right? How the heck did you get up there? knows, but it's coming down now. Find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. What is it? Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Freaking out here! It's gonna be okay. It'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Ah. Well, uh, here. I'll help you take it off. Okay. Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like. Maybe it was your destiny or something. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah, until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. 
I hope. Sound coming from down there. Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover it up. Yeah. Agreed. Sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There, come on. So close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? Straight to the point. I like it. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. And you trust this guy? Yeah! I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. We have to do something about that... that heck mouth. Well, we already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I... I... kinda got tricked... by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And... now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. <clears throat> it's... uh... It's been... not great. Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kinda obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, yeah. her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like, Champion City right over there? I had no idea that a leader was like that. Yeah, she's... ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating... Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand.
This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. It's really Champion City, then where are all the champions, huh? It's more like... Llama City. Uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. This Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. So why don't they leave then? Why do they put up with it? Stella keeps some of them under her thumb. Like my sword thing. But some think that if they impress her, maybe they'll move up, become a champion. But all their hard work is actually doing is making Stella's city better. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not vegan towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches. <laughs> Come on, you. My darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella? Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. <laughs> All free range, of course. That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Oh. Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. 
Where's... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. I uh, know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm still upset about this, Petra. You lied to me. I... yeah, I deserve that. Like you said, let's talk about it later. Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Oh, easy puppies. See, you like bones, right? This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. I just can't believe you didn't tell me that you thought you had to hide it. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? Ugh. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. Come on, Petra, do you really think that's fair? We have lives. I have a whole town depending on me. Uh, no, it wasn't. You might have a point.
No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Ha! Hey, yeah, ha! Shh, check it out. That's right. It's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. Oh, hi! Hello! Uh, you. you should not be here. This. this is, um. Uh, hmm. This is incredibly awkward. I gotta tell you, Stella, I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no. No, I, I was being sarcastic because I hate you. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. Raw! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, you were clearly way in over your head. I had to step in. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I was. What is that? Stop that. Or those. Oh, that's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Oh, you cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. So good to have you back. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Should be somewhere down here, I think. 
Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. What if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Yep, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra, Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm I, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. Uh, thanks? I think? You're not being sarcastic, right? I don't make a habit of it. <gasps> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the Ground Finder. Other people know me as the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. <sighs> cool names. So what can I do for you today? Desert Temple, Woodland Mansion. Whoa. Yeah, that's what we're here about. Oh, uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, come on, Jack. I... that is, uh... uh... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? 
Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no. No problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay, so why don't you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us? Be our guide? No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, alright? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. No. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, Lava, map, volcano, you remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep, without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Jack, Jack, sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? Yes. Then yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! And Jack? Man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it! I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Hey! Let's just hope he's as good as he says he is. He's a little... blustery, but I get a good vibe off him. I can't wait to see him in action. Derm, I told you, it's not the admin. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nurmy. Don't blow a gasket. That's awesome, Nurm. Welcome aboard. 
He says, woohoo! Yeah, I figured that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little... squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of okay, Port... Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake-baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework union. Radar! Understandable. Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends? And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss! Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. He's a little nuts, but his heart's in the right place. <sighs> if you say so. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. It's just like I always say. I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah. Friends are the best. <laughs> Love having friends. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Stealthy, too. Now that's more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize. For all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack? Nerm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea.
Blow. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. So I leapt off the cliff. Mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine! <sighs> oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah! Let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. Hey, that sounds really cool. I can't wait either. Uh, yeah, sure, of course. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Mm. Hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Yeah, I've seen weirder than that. True. Old builders, wither storms, computers. Well, let's just agree to disagree. I'll give you one thing, though. Bad men or not, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... the sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? I knew a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for ten minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out.
Now, we're sure that we have all our limbs. How about we find that structure block? I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Pretty uh, oh man, impressive, those right? things are creepy. If you look closely, the carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep, completely unique. No one's quite sure why, but you'll. I'm gonna need a sec, just to check my enchantments. Yeah, gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Ooh, whoa, it's uh, got me, like, uh, frozen in place. I don't care if you're swimming through a potion of slowness. Move your feet, Jack. You're being dumb. What? Yeah, you're right. I'm better than this. I am better than this. Guys, hey, I found something. Uh, be right there. Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels. To have everyone around you think you're some... has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So... just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh... Uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. Just remember what we talked about, right, Jack? Yeah, right. You're right. Was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. Jack? Is that, uh, dark prismarine? Or something like it. Alright, should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the Guardians are in. Water? Floating in midair? That should be impossible! <sighs> Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Hmm. Oh, you won't listen to me anymore. Guys! Hmm. Sorry, Nurm, but I think Jack's right. There's got to be an explanation for this. See? Hmm. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. 
You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're gonna use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Petra, I know you can do this. Jack and I will grab the sponges. Cool. I'm on it. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready. Then go! Hey, Scaleheads! Zap this! Come on, Jack! So sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack? Jack, are you okay? I thought you had this. No. I'm I'm not okay. I didn't deserve our awesome cool guy handshake before. Hmm. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend. Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure blocks gotta be close. Glowing obsidian. So strange. Uh, hello! Is someone there? Uh, what? Hello? <laughs> I, I thought I heard someone! Kalu Kale! <laughs> I think if you get the door open, my cage should open too. You know, if you don't mind. Oh, it's so nice to hear another voice after all this time. But, uh, how do I open the door? No clue. Why do you think I'm trapped in here? I couldn't figure it out. I'll leave you to it. I've got a good feeling about you and that door. <laughs> Jack, you okay? Don't really feel like being talked to right now, Jesse. I'm brooding. Hmm. Looks like some sort of pattern. Marine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Hey, Nerm. Uh. Uh. Oh, yeah, you must be worried about Jack, right? He'll be okay. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to this.
Okay, and that's Dark Prismarine. Sea Lanterns, check. Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. There's nothing I can craft that can help me. Not yet, anyway. How you doing over here? Okay. I can't stop thinking about what happened with Jack. Yeah? Just... If I saw your inventory pile down here, I don't think I'd be handling it much better than he is. Wow, that is like an unnatural amount of loot to pop out of one Guardian. Let's see what he dropped. Okay, Prismarine Shards and... Whoa, Prismarine Crystals! Ha! Sweet drop! Those are mega rare! Mine! Sea Lantern, nice! The tides! I'm finally free! <laughs> it has... It has been a very, very long time. <gasps> Vars! Jack! Oh. Wait, this is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes, this is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Wait, how did you survive down here for so long? <laughs> if you sit absolutely still, you'd be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. <laughs> anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. 
You are truly something special. He has his moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to see the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yep. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh, more of those weird statues. Well, at least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Zombies, but those are definitely not zombies. Oh, wow! Wow! Us, Nerm, we did it. We're inside. <sighs> yes, and it is incredible. Okay, guys, structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just a feeling? I feel like this is important, but I don't really know why. Hey, Nurm, you think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> Nurmi says they say, once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. Nerm, I'm sorry to bother you again, but... The admin saw there were no more heroes worthy of his challenges. So he left this world until the next great heroes emerged. Can't believe you buy into this stuff. That's obviously just the cop-out way of saying he never really existed. Huh. This must be it. It's gotta be. Look, that symbol. It looks just like the one we saw underground. The structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Huh. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one.
What? Fascinating. Yeah. But what does it all mean? Still figuring that out. <laughs> Says that's the wall of the builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. <laughs> Nurm says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. The Warrior Path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? Whoa. Got it. Now, if only our way out wasn't blocked by all these freaky soldiers. Perhaps they went away? I'm guessing no. <gasps> there are so many of them. Stay behind me, Nerm! Please work, please work, please work, please work! Metaphorically. Why, hello. Uh, hi. Die now. Whoa, too close. Stand still. Whoa! Close! 
close call. Jack! I'm... I'm okay. Mostly. No. Jack, I'm... I'm so sorry. It's... Ow! It's all right. Got my bad eye. Nowhere to run. Sadly, still mortal. I touched my hair that time. <laughs> it worked that time either. <laughs> Where the structure block goes. Let it go, Jesse. We'll keep the creepers off your back. Okay. Looks all clear. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Impressive moves. Well, what do you know, Jesse? You really did it. Huh. Yeah, I guess I did. Think that's really the end of it? Ah, certainly looks that way to me. Then come on, let's go home, you guys. This is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. You're back! Thank goodness. This has... Ooh, this has been a lot of work. People all need things approved. Or help with building. Or wrangling animals. Might have been a lot of work, but it was totally worth it. The place looks great. Yeah? Yeah, you did a great job, Radar. Wow, thanks. So, did you find what you were searching for? Looks like I'm 
always telling people, teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks to all my friends, we brought this amazing new treasure back. There's nothing we can't do together. Happy Founding Day, everyone. You're welcome. They really liked it. Yeah, they did. Guess you've still really got it. Yeah, other than having half the number of eyes I had when we left, I'd call that a rousing success. Yeah, that part's not the best. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Jack, I'm so sorry. I was really sure you had it back there. I don't blame you. I thought so too. Just as frustrated with myself. Oh, Jack! I do. Oh. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? In a little bit. I'm still hanging with Jesse for now. don't know what I'm going to do about you, though. Jesse. What's that? Whoa, you dudes heard that too, right? Yes, terrifying. Yeah, what was it? Oh, no. Jesse.